Hello everyone, it's your song here and welcome back for some more Hogwarts Legacy. So we were shown to our common room, the Ravenclaw house, and we were at our dorm. And we're ready for the first day of classes. So we're going to explore this area a little bit and then head to the classes, I think. It's really neat how they have like all the other houses you can kind of look inside of. Okay, let's go right to the common room area. That's where I should be going. So we'll go up the stairs here. All right. Deep oh, there's pictures here, yeah. It's kind of neat. Moving pictures. <laughs> Interesting. Must be different. Mm -hmm. Start talking about me starting Hogwarts in fifth year. Can I grab these? Oh no, I was taking an apple. Yeah. What are you doing? Looking for a spot to put the plant. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You think you could? Ah! Should I talk to this? That suit? is not how that. Why, hello? Would you like to take a look? Oh, well, sure. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't they all know about it now? It, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. Guess they must have heard about I it somehow. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for stargazing. I find the stars fascinating. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. It sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. Oh, really? You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Right then. Nice to meet you. Is there something else going on here? Let's talk to this person. I'm not sure this is the right Samantha. Spot. She's looking for a good spot for the plant. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wigginwald potion? It is. Oh, I see. Looks That's like what someone's been thinking it might be. Someone's studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wigginwald potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. He's quite knowledgeable. I wouldn't really know. He's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about uh, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm joining as a fifth year, so I, I really wonder about my education up until now. Like, what was I doing? <laughs> Nice talking with you. Isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? Do most students grow their own ingredients? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. Really? I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Is that the joke? <laughs> is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. 
And I don't think Professor Sharp, our oh, potion I wonder if master, I can grow my own ingredients where you too. get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Let's see. Nice talking with you. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Thank you. You can get an apple. Okay. It's a nice look around. Where should I be heading? I guess over here? <laughs> What's going on here? I'm supposed to talk to Everett then. One moment. Watch this. Is he pranking? Oh yeah, it looks like a prank. What is this? Smoke bomb? A dung bomb. <coughs> a dung bomb. <laughs> that wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Guess everyone knows yeah, about what happened coming here. I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm a, actually a tad bit nervous. I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Nice talking to you, Everett. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Oh, really? I wonder where they're from. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. What is this? Is this the way out? This is around here. I just want to explore a little bit more. I guess I go down. Okay, I guess that's the way out. Is there anything else in this common area? There's like an upstairs? Can I light this? Maybe I need a spell to do that. Lumos. What's up here? It's like another study area, kind of. Oh, and there's a staircase. Nice. Where does this lead? I want to play quick. A level one lock. Oh, I guess I should just maybe head to the main main story stuff. All right then. Oh, there's a ghost. Run away. All right. So we'll head out then. Down we go. Oh, there she is. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I am. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. I got owls. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Is a book to study with? Oh, it's like filled with knowledge. Maybe everything up until now. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but 
What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. So this follow way. her. Out we go. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Seems pretty nice. Why don't you cast Revelio on this Revelio and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Hello. Ravenclaw bust. Guide pages. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Field guide challengers are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay, so I guess I need to do these challenges to level up. This is your wizarding level. Experience gain from challenges increase your level and power. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Okay. So select that. Collecting your first guide pages unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from challenges menu. Come back often to collect the rewards you have. So do I have a reward here? by pages or something here I need to get more so I guess I should just keep looking around clever isn't it keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle rebellion did I find something oh, there's stuff down below No time to waste. You've classes to attend. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get distracted. Something over there. What is this? The puzzle? Revenia. Some kind of riddle. One plus spider equals something equals 13. And 13 plus what the hydra or something like basilisk snakes plus two question marks equals 21. Hmm. I think I can work on that later. No, wait, where's Weasley? Come over here, okay, I'm coming back. He's like giving me signs like I'm gonna die or something. <laughs> I was just looking around a little bit. Ah, good timing. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Discovered a flu flames fast travel point. You can open up the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. 
So open up the map. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. So where am I supposed to be going? Select a grand staircase. Okay, in this view you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. All right, keep moving. Select the library annex region to continue, okay? Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use the right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall. Oh, I see, so you can kind of rotate hall. And then we travel. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Nice. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, I like the dragon. It's moving. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me about Charms classes? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact. I'm afraid there isn't. Hmm, do I want to tell her there is more? But <laughs> I'm afraid there isn't. I'll say there is. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. So he's going to talk, tell me Good about the map today. now? And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. That's good. So I guess I'll talk to Professor Fig next. Oh, there's like a book or parchment, a page or something flying around. Revelio. Oh, there's something here. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. What's that over there? Probably can't go too far. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe can't do anything yet. I don't want to get too distracted. I like this great open hall area, though. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Sounds good. You can track available quests from the map. This represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant experience. Here's are the classes. Some quests are locked behind a spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. So we got one here, charms class, and we learned Astio and Levioso. Which one do we want to start with? Sealed field guide shows Professor Ronan's class is an astronomy wing. This class castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find my way there. Sure, I guess we'll start with charm class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, 
Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Sounds good. So now I want to go to my charms classes. It's telling me to go up here. Oh, it's going to guide me there. Should be nice. I don't know if there's anything else around Revenia. here. What is this? Some paintings. There's something here. What are you up to now? Did I get it unlocked? Oh, they're playing music. Nice. I'll just keep moving up. Revelio. Now what's going on? I hear a noise. I don't know where it's coming from though. Keep moving. I think I'm supposed to go up there. Is it? What's that chime sound though? It must be close to something. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go up? No, it doesn't look like it. I went the wrong way at some point. <laughs> I was wasn't looking. So I guess I go this way. Oh, okay. So I can go through this door. Oh, I didn't realize that. There's some plants here. Revelia. I think there's like something over there, but I'll have to come back for it later. Keep moving. Oh, this outside area is also really neat. Keep moving. So much to explore. Defense against the dark arts. It's located another location. We're going to the charms class first. Rebellion. There's a cat here. I guess I pet the cat. Nice. Look okay. at. Looks good so far. I guess I'll just keep moving up. And I do the charms class. What's up, up still? Oh, these are like a bathroom area. Revelio. Just don't know where there will be Revelio things. <laughs> Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to. This must be the class. All right, so we made it. This will begin it. Wanted him to get back to the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> no, I haven't. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Mm? Do I know? Uh, 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 color change uh, and growth I charms? I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. Oh, my book. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. 
By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Uh, hmm? No. <laughs> hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Right. Asio. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as quick. you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Guess we're going outside for a class? I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> oh. oh, what is this? Kind of like a mini game or something? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Oh, why not? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, think of this like go splendid. Oh, don't I went too far. <laughs> Let's try again. So I guess I overshot. Control there. Oh, I went over again. Might need a little bit more practice. Very good. Oh, to the best of us. let go <laughs> quicker. <laughs> Didn't get any of them. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you. <laughs> certainly no sport in playing How do they get points? <laughs> I didn't do any. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Uh oh. Come on up. I guess we're going at it then. The blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. I guess you're up first. Yes, what? Did they make it to 50? Oh, wow. That's They've done this before. Done. Now it's my turn. Can I knock their ball off? Maybe I should have tried. Should I try to knock my ball off? I wonder if I can knock it off. Let's try it. Quite impressive. Oh, I'm in the lead now. Can I knock their ball off? A perfect score. Nice. Remarkable. Take that. Let us 
make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, now there's moving things? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. All right. There we go. Let's go with this one. Need to time it right. Do not think I will start going easy on you. Oh no! <laughs> I went over. Don't lose your composure. I tried to knock her ball off, and mine went flying. I don't know if I'm gonna do too well this time. Can I knock both of them off? Maybe if I grab that one. <laughs> I'm gonna fail again, I just feel like. Okay. Go, 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 go! Oh no, I'm in trouble. I need to knock this one off. And keep my ball in. Oh no! It went too far. <laughs> I guess I lost. Unfortunate. Good, both of you. Well done. It was close. If I could have had it stop just a little bit sooner. So I guess we're back dismissed. to class right now. Your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. I, I beat you Took once. Weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks it's one on to get one to one. Right when I transferred here, it gets easier. I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. How big is Ugadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Ugadu? <laughs> Wagadu School of Wagadu? Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Oh. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as mm, a, a beautiful side edifice school. carved out of the mountainside. Seems interesting. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous oh, it's school floating? that seemed to be floating in midair. It seemed to be. It seems interesting, though. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Well, that's interesting. Is the magic weaker, or what? Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. Really? I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Seems to be better to not use a wand, right? Because, like, everything always happens, like, in the movies and whatnot. People get disarmed and they can't use a magic anymore. It's like, well, if you could use magic without the wand, wouldn't that be better? Or at least teach both ways? It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. 
Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. What does he want to talk about? I guess I will talk course. to him. You can use a word items, if you would, if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding oh, a special, special assignment that I am preparing for special you. Special assignments? That seems interesting. So I guess maybe like mini quests or like sub quests. Nice, I completed my first class and gained a level. Nice. So we're gonna stop the current video here and I'll continue on with the next class in the next video. Thanks for watching.